when Laura bought these glasses, she loved them. I was groping for some way to keep Laura's name out of it. She was always quick to seize upon anything that would improve her mind or her appearance. Laura had innate breeding. I selected a more attractive hairdress for her. I taught her what clothes were more becoming to her. Through me, she met everyone. Men admired her. Women envied her. You have rarely met a girl like Laura. Few women have been so beautiful, so exotic, so dangerous to know. You're Laura Hunt, aren't you? Yes. I'm Shelby Carpenter. Want to dance? I'm not alone. Oh, you poor girl. I bet he still does the polka. Yes, Betsy Ross taught it to me. It was as natural for Laura to be picked out from among thousands of alluring girls as it was for her to be surrounded by luxury, mystery, and scheming men. Get going. You better watch out, McPherson, or you'll end up in a psychiatric ward. I don't think I've ever had a patient who fell in love with a corpse. Miss Hunter and I were going to be married this week, you know. No, he doesn't know. And neither do I, or you, or anyone else alive. What do you mean by that? As a matter of fact, she was going to the country to think it over. She was extremely kind, but I was always sure she would never have thrown her life away on a male beauty in distress. Every woman will feel that when it comes to men, Laura gets by with murder. Every man will feel that when it comes to murder, it couldn't involve a more enticing girl. Don't worry. I told you I'd bring in the killer today. Yeah, I was just going to make the arrest when you called. No, I can't tell you now. I'm not alone. You'll see when I come in. 